Greetings YouTube. You know, for a while, we've been enjoying sending direct-to-film prints in a single job with our Epson DTG printers, all thanks to our Cathari Neurop software with available DTF printing profile add-on. Well, recently, Epson came out with an update to run Garmin Creator direct-to-film prints in a single job, and it works pretty great. What's going on YouTube? Stevan here with All American Print Supply. So we thought we'd do a comparison to show how these two different direct-to-film printing options and RIP softwares compare as far as quality and our final product. Starting with Garmin Creator. I mean, what's not to love? This clean, user-friendly interface is easy to navigate and it's free, available as a direct download from Epson. Now it is worth mentioning, I am still trying to figure out how to enable this direct-to-film feature for our Mac Garmin Creator users. And as soon as I find out, you can rest assured you'll be the first to know right here on this YouTube channel. However, for all of my Windows Garmin Creator users, you can click up here. All right, so let's talk about Cathari NeoRip. We have an entire playlist of content on this, showing walkthroughs, installations, and highlighting some of the awesome features. You can take a look at all of those by clicking up here. But where do I start? I mean, as far as better handling of your complex artworks, things such as glows, transitions, gradients, and fades, you're gonna get much better accuracy and color matching when compared to the original file. But that's not all. We're also gonna have additional t-shirt color environments beyond just white, black, and dark. And did I even mention you can really optimize your white underbase? And you can increase this when you're working with certain color garments such as your blacks, reds, or your high percentages of polyester. Our printing profiles are designed to work without any sort of crazy adjustments. And furthermore, we have step-by-step -step instructional videos and available tech support. Now for my big printing powerhouse production units, we do have one more option to really increase your workflow and efficiency every step of the way. I'm talking about our barcode automation print flow. For the full breakdown on how this works, you can take a look up here. Now, if the barcode automation and print flow is beyond what you need at the moment, no matter what size operation you are, you can enjoy faster production thanks to lightning quick data transmission with an almost simultaneous ripping and printing of the artwork. And not to mention, we have a thoroughly tested and color profile direct-to-film printing profile. So moving along here, let's take a look and see how these direct-to-film prints come out with the new Garmin Creator DTF update. I'm gonna load my film here using my AA Trusty Platinum Grip Strips to keep my film nice in position as it goes in for both layers of ink. Secure it like so. And today we're gonna be working with our Ecofreen Hot Peel Film. It's an awesome product, very thoroughly tested, really awesome layer coatings on the release, on the anti-static, on the ink absorbing, and more. You're gonna see how this performs. Now diving into our software here, we're just gonna click and drag in our file mirror your image. So always remember to do that when you're preparing your direct-to-film prints. It's going to be horizontal flip. And as we can see our visual preview, this already adjusted how this is going to come out. Let's go ahead and get our dimensions. We'll get a good size print for this one. Get that nice and centered. Everything looks good. As far as our total print time, we do need to take into consideration that this will rip and then send the file to the machine before it actually is able to begin the printing. Now we're gonna send the job right now. Here we see our blue progress bar up here filling up. We're basically on standby as it says. And once that is completed, data is finally received here. Let's send the print. It's time to take a look and see how the Cathari Neurip software with available DTF printing profile add-on performs. Let's get our film loaded again. Nice and centered. Now here in the software, we're just gonna go over to layout. I can see my available options right here. We're gonna select DTF printing. Got our profile right here. Let's go ahead and drag in our test file for the comparison. And on Garmin Creator, we printed this at an eight inch width. So we'll compare apples to apples. Let's go ahead and just position this here. Now one thing I do wanna mention, I don't have to mirror anything. The software is already gonna take care of that for me. So now that we've got our file all prepped and ready to go, let's go over here to print layout and see how quickly the data transmission sends this job to the machine. One, two, three. That was fast. So let's take a look at these lap times first. For Garmin Creator, per print, this clocked in at one minute and 51 seconds. Now over here, the lap time for Cathari NeoRip per print was a measly one minute and 45 seconds. So how much faster is your direct-to-film printing with Cathari? Let's take a look at the head-to-head -head foot race between the two. Starting from sending the job to the printer, 
we are looking at an estimated time savings of over 5%. Think about how much that can add up over a day, over the week, over the year. Remember, time saved is money saved. Let's keep the demonstration rolling. I got my Garmin Creator direct-to-film transfer. We printed right here. We're gonna get this powered up and show you a little DTF workflow action. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a nice even layer across the entire wet print, just like so. I can reuse all this for later. Now before I cure this, I'm gonna aim this away from everyone in my print area, smack off all that excess. Now this is a little hack for all of my heat press, direct-to-film transfer, hover curing method users. Now if you notice, my press is already closed. I'm preheating the lower platen, so this will be able to cure from above and from below. That should be plenty. Now thanks to my Prisma Swing Away, when it's not being pressed, it's gonna naturally rest in sort of a hover position and I can keep moving. Here we have our direct-to-film transfer printing with our Cathari Neurop software and direct-to-film printing add-on. Same thing as before. There's no idle time. While I'm doing this, my garment creator transfer is already curing. So let's get this nice and even coverage. Quick and easy process. Again, I'm gonna save all this powder for later. Again, I'm gonna aim this away from everybody in my print area and just sort of Perfect. So now this is ready for curing. Let's take a look and see how our Garmin Creator transfer is looking underneath the heat press. And there we have it. Nice and cured with our hover method thanks to our Prisma Swing Away heat press. Now, that wasn't that slow, but I bet you didn't know there's a way we can go even faster. Let's do a demonstration with the Cathari direct-to-film print. So, if you have a Prisma Auto Clam or a Prisma Swing Away, a simple way to get better hovering and faster curing is gonna be just like this. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to loosen your pressure all the way down so that it's not applying much force at all. What you're gonna notice when you do close the machine, it's not gonna actually make contact with the print. But if you do this, the platen is gonna sit much closer to the actual transfer that we're carrying. Now, it is worth mentioning, I did remove my lower platen protector because if I do have that cover on and it's not sitting entirely flush, it can actually raise our transfer area. What that can mean, our direct-to-film print can actually make contact with the heating element. We want it close, but not that close. Let's give this just a moment. We'll show you when it's cured. Moving along now, let's get these transfers applied. You know, and as I look at this garment creator, direct-to-film transfer, I am seeing a lot of white ink, a considerable amount more than what Cathari put down. Hmm, let's get it applied. Now, before we do anything, we're always gonna give a quick pre-press to our garment so we have a nice, smooth application area, just a few seconds. We're basically ironing the garments, laying the fibers down nice and flat so we have a nice application area. I'm gonna use my cover sheet to protect my heating element here. Let's go ahead and bring this back, lock this down, and we're gonna be pressing this between about 15 to 20 seconds, depending on the size of your transfer. Now, if you're doing pocket logos or something of about this size, that 15 seconds should be solid. However, we did go eight inches wide on this particular graphic, so we're gonna give it the full 20. Now, we mentioned this is a hot peel film, one of the most consistent and reliable that we've seen in our rounds of testing. Let's go ahead and remove it, like so, low against the actual garment. Boom, that came out solid. Let's get the next one pressed. Let's get our transfer. Considerably less white ink when compared to Garmin Creator. Something to keep in mind. Get this in position, nice and centered. Again, cover sheet, protect the heating element. Let's go ahead and give this a close, 20 seconds. Let's see that hot peel in action. All right, let's take a look at a quick comparison on how these two transfers came out from our different RIP software options. As we can see, we have tremendous vibrancy and color accuracy with the Cathari print. And with the Garma Creator, it's not quite exactly there. Like we said, very user-friendly, got the job done. But you do also keep in mind the time involved in each of these prints. That data transmission speed is probably one of my favorite features about the Cathari Neo RIP, in addition to the unique color profiling, additional t-shirt color environments, ink saving, cost calculation, and more. So there's a lot of love about this program, and we do offer a risk-free demo version of this software. You can go ahead and hit the links in the description for more information. Here, let's take a look at how the cost calculation works on this Rubik's Cube image we've been testing at eight inches wide. So if you wanna check your pricing per print, you can click this calculator button up here in the Garmin Creator software. 
Now with this RIP program, this is gonna cost us approximately 83 cents in ink to produce. Now this is a decent estimate, even with Garment Creator calculating a single price point for the ink. Compared to CMYK, white ink does cost slightly more, so as not to underestimate, we use the white ink cost here. Here let's take a look at the cost calculator in Cathari NeoRip. We have the option to set the ink pricing on each individual color. Sounds like valuable and accurate data to have. To compare apples to apples, we'll go ahead and adjust all the ink pricing to that of the white ink, just like how it is in Garment Creator. We'll go ahead and update the cost for the current job as well. Wait for this to catch up in the rip as that adjusts. And there we have it. Even with the overestimation, Cathari ink pricing for the same graphic ring up is only 32 cents. That's a savings of over 61%. So, over 100 shirts, we're gonna be saving $51. But you're not just gonna print 100 shirts, right? The savings are limitless. We hope in this video we're able to show you the value, not only from a quality and consistency standpoint, but also from time management perspective. With additional add-ons to increase your efficiency, such as the print flow that we mentioned, our barcode automation software, Cathari for me really seems like a no-brainer. That's pretty much gonna wrap it for this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Estevan, we are All American Print Supply. I'm gonna take this Cathari print. See you on the next one.